Japan's Moon Sniper Robot Explorer resumes operations. Japan's Moon Sniper Robotic Explorer is back in action, the country's space agency said Monday, after a power issue forced the spacecraft to shut down upon landing on the moon 10 days ago. Don't miss any update, subscribe my channel for entertainment news. The Explorer executed a precise landing on January 19, making Japan only the fifth country to put a spacecraft safely on the lunar surface, but faced a critical issue almost immediately. The spacecraft landed facing the wrong direction after one of its engines failed during landing, meaning its solar cells couldn't generate electricity and it had to rely on limited battery power, according to the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency JAXA. The agency shut off the Lunar Explorer to conserve its battery, saying it would automatically be restarted if its solar panel began generating power as the angle of the moon changed. On Monday, JAXA announced on social media platform X that it had succeeded in establishing communication with Smart Lander for investigating Moon, or SLIM, last night and have resumed operations. The Explorer has also captured new images of the lunar surface, it added. Its mission can be considered at least a minimum success, because it achieved a precise and soft lunar landing using optical navigation, the agency has said. Now, Japan aims to use the lander to collect unprecedented information about a region of the Moon called the Sea of Nectar. The spacecraft touched down near a crater called Shioli, a Japanese female first name pronounced, Shioli, which sits about 200 miles 322 kilometers south of the Sea of Tranquility, the region near the lunar equator where Apollo 11 first landed astronauts on the moon. Multiple space agencies and countries have attempted moon landing missions over the past year, leading to a historic first as well as some failures. India became the fourth country, after the United States, the former Soviet Union and China, to execute a controlled landing on the moon when its Chandrayaan-3 mission arrived near the lunar south pole in August. The new lunar space race is partly driven by countries' desire to access water trapped as ice in permanently shadowed regions at the lunar south pole. It could be used for drinking water or fuel as humanity pushes the bounds of space exploration in the future. Hash Japan's moon lander slim comes back to life and resumes mission hash. Japan's moon lander has resumed operations after being shut down for a week due to a power supply issue. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency JAXA, said it re-established contact with the lander on Sunday, indicating that the glitch had been fixed. Its solar cells are working again after a shift in lighting conditions allowed it to catch sunlight, the agency said. It could not generate power when it landed on 20 January as the solar cells pointed away from the sun. With the smart lander for investigating Moon Slim spacecraft, Japan became only the fifth country to achieve a soft touchdown on the Moon after the US, the former Soviet Union, China and India. The spacecraft ran on battery power for several hours before authorities decided to turn it off to allow for a possible recovery of electricity when the angle of sunlight changed. In a post on X, formerly Twitter, JAXA shared a photograph taken by Slim of a nearby rock that it nicknamed a toy poodle. The lander will analyze the composition of rocks in its search for clues about the origin of the moon, JAXA said. SLIM landed at the edge of an equatorial crater known as Shioli, within 55 meters 180 feet of its targeted touchdown location. JAXA described it as an unprecedented pinpoint landing. The landing technology could allow future exploration of hilly moon poles seen as a potential source of fuel, water and oxygen, the agency said. The SLIM mission came after earlier attempts by Japan failed, including one by the startup iSpace, which saw its lunar lander crash when its onboard computer became confused about its altitude above the moon. JAXA could not immediately say until when SLIM will operate on the moon. It has previously said the lander was not designed to survive a lunar night. A lunar night, which is when the surface of the moon is not exposed to the sun, lasts about 14 days. Statistically, it has proven very hard to land on the moon. Only about half of all attempts have succeeded. Prior to Japan, India was the most recent nation to join the elite club of countries that have achieved this. Its Chandrayaan 3's rover touched down near the lunar south pole in August 2023, an area on the moon's surface that no human had reached before. Earlier this month, a U.S. spacecraft launched by a private operator ended its lunar mission in flames over the Pacific. 
In August last year, Russia's first lunar spacecraft in decades crashed into the moon after spinning out of control. Hashtag Japan hopes sunlight can save stricken slim moon lander hash. Japan may yet manage to salvage its moon lander, the country's space agency JAXA says, if sunlight hits it in the right place. The slim spacecraft was turned off just three hours after its historic lunar touchdown on Saturday to save power. Engineers had realized its solar cells were pointing west, away from the sun, and could not generate electricity. But the mission team is now hopeful the situation could improve as lighting conditions shift. If sunlight hits the moon from the west in the future, we believe there's a possibility of power generation, and we're currently preparing for restoration. The SLIM mission, also nicknamed, Moon Sniper, for its use of precision landing technologies, made Japan only the fifth nation in history to complete a soft lunar touchdown. But the joy of seeing the craft complete its controlled descent soon turned to worry as power levels drained away. Rather than let the battery system go completely flat, the decision was taken to put the craft to sleep. The battery was disconnected according to our procedures with 12% power remaining, in order to avoid a situation where the restart of the lander would be hampered, JAXA said. As a result, the spacecraft was switched off at 2.57 Saturday, Japan time, or 17.57 Greenwich Mean Time, Friday. Before shutdown, Mission Control was able to successfully gather details of SLIM's predicament, as well as images and data about its descent to the lunar surface. We're relieved in beginning to get excited after confirming a lot of data has been obtained, JAXA said. The agency promised updates through the week. Moon missions try to land early in the lunar day when the sun comes up over the eastern horizon. This gives a spacecraft about two Earth weeks of illumination before the sun then sets in the west for two weeks of darkness. It's currently morning at SLIM's landing location on the slopes of Shioli Crater. If, as suspected, the spacecraft's solar cells are pointing westward, then it may have to wait until the lunar afternoon before those cells catch enough light to start charging the battery system. SLIM was carrying two small rovers, which data indicates it managed to eject as planned just before touchdown. The craft is also equipped with an infrared camera to study the local geology. How much it could investigate if power levels are restored is uncertain. Statistically, it's proven very hard to land on the moon. Only about half of all attempts have succeeded. Prior to SLIM's touchdown only the US, the former Soviet Union, China and India had made it to the surface intact. A private American mission gave up its landing bid earlier this month when it suffered a propulsion fault shortly after launch from Earth. Another commercial US mission will try its luck in late February.